Okay, this next one, this one's going to be an interesting one if we're going to do. This will be a funny one if we can make this look really nice. So you're going 400 for this one. Whoops. A little bit lighter. Okay, let's see what this one is. This is an interesting one. It is a new design up and go drink breakfast drink bottle it's a different type of bottle it looks a lot more interesting we're going to focus on this lovely little illustration up there so we're going to try and see if we can make it look any good we're going to try and eliminate the actual we won't have the actual lid on display so we're just going to leave it like that we're just going to quickly just line it up nice and straight it's not easy this is not an easy kind of original <sighs> to work with and we're going to have to make a master copy because 400% is just not enough. So we're just going to see how this one comes out and see if it makes a really good master copy. <sighs> Stabilising image. Please wait. That's typical Konica Minolta. So let's see how we go. Okay, let's see how this looks. Whoa, that looks interesting. Uh-huh. Wondering if we've got to move it over a bit or we're going to leave it like that. We're going to leave it like that, I think, and we're going to just try and enlarge this side down to there. So that looks quite interesting to start with. Uh, I think now we can consign this to our recycle pile and we're just going to use this lovely image as our master copy uh i'm wondering where we're going to put to the top we're going to put it up the top of the um corner there we're just going to flick it over like so i think we're just going to put it like that we're not going to get too exact hopefully it won't matter too much uh actually i might i'll have to just overlap it a bit because we're enlarging and we don't want these large, ugly borders. So I'm wondering, we're a bit smaller than an A5 in this position. So we're just going to maybe make it a bit bigger. Maybe we're going to put it towards the A5 area. That might... Uh, I'm trying to decide... Yeah, we're going to make it to the A5. We're just going to slide it across just over there. Hopefully it'll, it'll be a good enlargement. Hopefully it'll look really nice. And we're going to see how this works. First, we've got to just do some more setting up here. That squeak is annoying. It's a distraction. This photocopier just sounds like it's falling apart already. It hasn't been, hasn't needed any repairs yet. So hopefully it won't for a while. I'm hoping never. I'm hoping to finish my demos and have them aired on YouTube and have them go viral. Because some, some YouTubers can really get a lot of coverage from their channel. And I just would like to do the same with mine as well. So I'm actually thinking uh, we're going to have to enlarge this bigger and unfortunately we're cutting off the top of this job. We don't want that to be cut off so we're just going to pull it down a bit. It's a bit off, it's way off centre. Uh, 
I do think even though we're going to lose, we're going to probably get a bit of a border there. So I'm wondering if we're going to make the vertical a little bit taller. We're going to make the vertical go up probably by about, so the vertical's going to be, the vertical is going to be, going to make it 100 and... 60 and the horizontal we're just going to leave it at that so yeah this is like a real paradise kind of a theme which you know is really nice in the summertime i know it's marketing and advertising and i do have a a really hate capitalism but you got to pick out some of the good ones and make use of them it is a nice picture just to use as a demo. So that's how I, I use images from capitalism as a form of, to make my pictures. Well, not all my pictures, but many of them. Now, I should have pushed it up. I've got it upside down, so fuck, I forgot that. I'm going to have to... I pushed it the wrong way. I'm going to have to push it up anyway because it's upside down. I forgot it was upside down. So I'm going to have to just push it up considerably so we can get a really nice um, image of that job of that fat head so we're just going to put it down there and maybe on the horizontal we're going to enlarge it a bit more so we're going to make the horizontal a hundred and hundred and fifty we're going so going to make this a little bit different just hope my guesstimates are going to work but this is not an easy one to do. But it looks really nice, the colours. <laughs> Even though it's just to make people buy more of these drinks. But now I've actually... The enlargement's still too big for that. So I'm going to have to... This is a nuisance, folks. I might have to push that right up to get rid of this. Because this is... with uh, Whatever. Sorry, guys just got to keep doing it so I've got to push this right up so it's got to go up it's got to go right up I'm pretty sure we're going to get I can just see through the paper the up and the words up and go so the up and go words are going to go straight through to the top edge so I can see a little bit of it that's as a guide it makes a good enough guide for me so we're now going to try again. I'm going to now try another shot and hope that we don't make it too strong and have the lady's head cut off. Sometimes it's hard to know how I've put things on the glass and I probably didn't show you properly how I did it. But anyway, that looks a lot better. That looks much better now. Uh, she looks nice and happy up there. I would have liked to have gotten rid of the sanitarium. Uh, but I'm thinking we're just going to keep it, stuff it. I mean, I think Sanitarium is still Aussie owned and Aussie made, I'm hoping, <laughs> because most things in Australia no longer are made by us. <laughs> we don't have much manufacturing or ownership of companies. It's all basically foreign ownership. So we're just going to... I'm wondering if we're going to do any more, if we're going to... Well, if we're going to stick with this and make this into a mirror image, but basically most of our manufacturing and shit has gone to China and, other, and, other, and some other third world countries. And basically that's not very good for, <laughs> for our economy and there's not enough jobs to go around. So not having enough jobs mean, is a big problem and it's because these capitalist piggies want to be want to have more money for themselves and less money for anyone else they've got the power they've got the authority and they can just simply offshore anything they want to offshore much to the dis disruption of the ordinary australian so yeah we're losing a lot of industries the car industry just went south well it didn't actually go south as in australia it went basically south as in it just went it disappeared went down the the gurgler gone offshore and these car companies are just fucking greedy 
you know, used to be good. And buses, we don't make our own buses anymore. So I'm really pissed off with capitalism and the people behind it, the CEOs and the shareholders. They can all go fuck themselves because we need a fucking manufacturing. Not everyone can work in an office. Not anyone can just be a clerk or a, or a manager or anything like that. Some people are just born to manufacture. They're born, to, they're born working class people. Whoever remembered the song called Working Class Man? I think it's by... Jimmy Barnes or something? I've forgotten. I think it was Jimmy Barnes. You know, we used to have a really proud working class um, culture in this country. Now it's all gone to the t the suits and ties who control everything. So we can't. We don't even have a working class anymore, except for say construction workers who have to be here on our soil. They can't build houses in China unless you prefabricate in China and send the shit over, which that'll probably be the next thing that'll go. But anyway, enough about that. This looks quite interesting. So I think now I'm glad I purchased this drink, but I don't think I'll be buying another one for a long time. I think this looks good. Gotta go.